what's going on uh, world or whatever part of the world is watching this it's Rome it's so good to be seen by you and it's so good to see you guys through this camera lens uh, I got a battle coming up in Toronto it's this weekend November 22nd I'm battling uh, Uno Lavos uh, the, uh, the former uh, he actually was my landscaper until I uh, uh, until I, I plucked him from the field and, and popped him into the battle rap scene and uh, I'm giving him the ultimate shot. It's every landscaper's dream to eventually go up against the, uh, the angry plantation owner who's, who's always uh, held them down their whole, their whole life. And so uh, Uno's finally going get, to get the shot to live out the fantasy of, uh, of going against me. And so I'm, I'm happy for him. Uh, it means a lot for the kid uh, to get the shot, you know what I mean? It's, uh, He's good. He, he, uh, I'd say he earned it, but he hasn't, um, but I'm going to give it to him anyway. Um, if you guys don't know, we're both from Philadelphia, where I'm shooting this right now. Uh, majestic city, brotherly love. And uh, so I'm going to show him a little bit of bro brotherly love. You might have even seen, there's like footage of us back in the day when I, when I lived in Maniac. He actually even came to my house. And I didn't, even, I didn't know who he was at the time, but when I saw him in on the video, I was like, Oh yeah, this guy Udo Lavos, he's so good, like check out all his battles or whatever. Then uh, I started to watch his uh, his battles. I even went to one in Toronto. His, his battle against Caliente. And that was my first time seeing him battle live. And I was just standing behind him, and uh, like he was he was he was kind of doing good. He was kind of like acting like a little bit erratically. Kind of had the crowd in the palm of his hand. I was like, I'm proud of this guy. And he was like getting in the guy's face. I was like, Whoa, man, hold on, don't go be so crazy. And he got up in my ear and he whispered, He's like, It's all an act. I'm just pretending. Which means he told me that he he uh, he. Uh, uh, was faking being drunk. So as soon as I had gotten respect for Uno Lavos, uh, I lost it immediately. It was about a, it was like a 15 second window. You can uh, catch it on cam. I think it was like World Domination 1 or, or 2 or something like that back in the day in Toronto. And uh, there, was a, there was a brief window where I had some respect for him, uh, a 15 second window kind of thing. And, uh, and now it's gone. Uh, and he, he proved himself to just be a, a gimmicky, like antic type of guy. Uh, not, a lot of, not a lot of actual talent. Um, and uh, which is funny because he won't even, he said now he won't battle that guy from California with the face tattoo because that guy does too many uh, imic, uh, antics and gimmicks and stuff like that. When really that's our buddy's whole shtick. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I don't really want to get into uh, all the foibles of him, him as an individual, but, you know, definitely come out. Check out the battle. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to go light on you, Uno. I'm going to have to fucking whoop that ass anyway because it's been a while uh, since I've been on the stage. I've been, uh, I've been, uh, people have been kind of avoiding me, which is all right, though, but it's just a little bit more buildup for this guy. So uh, come on out, King of the Dot, Flatline. Three. I got the info right here. It's Saturday, November 22nd. It says 7 p.m. at the Opera House, 735 Queen Street, East Toronto. It's going to be a big fucking night. It's going to be beautiful. Not only are you going to be able to see me with that S, um, which will surely happen, but also we're going to see uh, Tycoon Tax against Rosenberg Raw, 100 Bullets against Rum Nitty, Chilla Jones against Dialect, Arcane against Coitez, uh, Sharon, Charlie Clips, that should be a big one. Uh, and uh, Pat Stay against Daylight for the championship, for the fucking title match. You know, uh, so you're gonna, if, when you come through, if and when, it's gonna be a hell of a night. Uh, just a, a beautiful, uh, just a, it's gonna be a real beautiful experience. You know, it's gonna be fantastic. I'm, I'm happy to go back to, to Canada, even though I can't see my dream girl Sarah up there. I'm, I'm still gonna be, uh, I'm still happy. That, that I could even be included, you know, in, in the whole Canadian battle culture. And, and the fact that you guys are going to get to see an ass whooping, well, that's just a fucking, that's just a bonus on top of everything. So uh, come check out the battle. Come get tickets. Check out the press conference the day before. There's going to be more shit talking. There's going to be shit talking on top of shit talking. It's going to be fucking beautiful. I'm going to have fucking feces falling from between my fucking teeth. Shit talking all fucking day. It's going down. It's happening. Rome versus Uno Lagos, November 22nd. Be there or you are a certified bitch. Peace.